Hey you guys, it's Miss Miller. I just wanted to show you really quick how you're going to be collecting your data for the angle versus range lab today. So you're going to be using this simulation. Of course, I've told you already to click intro. And the first thing I want you to do is basically to determine if the mass affects the range of an object's trajectory. And you should know the term trajectory. It's the path a projectile takes. And so what you're going to be doing, you know, throw a few things with different masses and make your conclusion from there to determine if they're going to have different trajectories. Now, um, what you're going to be doing in this lab is controlling the angle and the height. So I'm going to recommend that you start at zero degrees. You get to control the angle here. Okay, and what you're going to do is you're going to set the angle. You're going to do this for all angles from 0 to 90 degrees. And basically, you're going to press launch. And you get a whole bunch of data here. And your job is to, of course, find the height and the range. Now, this target allows you to move back and forth. Okay. Um, so I can put this on the target and I can find my range. Range is a horizontal distance, how far to the, in the X direction it travels. And now we're going to be also looking at the height. And right here, so this little tool, um, if you can put it on a point, it will show you time, range, and height for the different points. So we have our highest point here at 10.42 meters. If you don't want to use the little tool, you can also use a tape measure. And if you want to measure the height this way, you can do that. So the height is going to be the maximum height that it reaches, okay, from the ground. Now, you guys might have a different setup here. You might start your um, rocket down here at zero meters, and you might change the angles that way. Of course, you're only going to be able to go to 25 degrees, and that's fine. 25 to 90 degrees, but you're going to be measuring the height and the range for um, these various angles, okay? And let me just show you what I mean by that. So for your data collection, you're going to create a table with angles 0 to 90 degrees and a height that you're measuring. So you're going to have um, the thing that you're changing is your x. And what you're measuring at the end, that's your dependent variable, that's the y. And so then you're going to create another table where you're measuring the range, so angle and range. Now, if you would like to make this in one big table, that's totally fine. Just be careful because in your analysis, you are going to go and graph angle versus height and angle versus range. And make sure, of course, your angle is your independent variable in all of those cases. Now, you might do something where your initial speed is pretty big. So I'm going to change my initial speed here. And I'm going to change my angle. I just want to show you this setup a little bit. Let's see. I think I can erase everything that's happened so far. I can put my tools back. And I'm going to press launch. And oh no, it went off my screen. So what do I do at that point? Well, there's this lovely little zoom out. You can zoom out and click the points there. You can still measure it with the measuring tape, um, or you can still move this target around. Um, so you do have the option of zooming in and out if you need to, okay? And that should help you a little bit. Just get comfortable using this app for the angle versus range lab. So let me know if you need any help, and um, I'll see you guys later.